Hola mis serenitas, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Chiquita Serenita and today we're doing a tutorial review and a swatches of ColourPop's Hocus Pocus collection. I don't have the entire collection. I don't have any of the glittery um, gels because I wasn't able to snag one. I wanted to amuck one but unfortunately I wasn't able to get it and I don't have the green gel liner. But I do have everything else. So if you're looking for the glittery gels, I'm sorry, I don't have it. And I don't have the green one. But I do have the rest. Well, I have everything but those, um, I want to say four items because it's the two gels. It's the green gel liner. And it is um, Winifred's lashes. And because I didn't like them. I thought they were too thin. So, yeah, you guys. Let me start with the gel liners, okay? So, like I said, I bought two of the gel liners. Um, I bought the red one, which is called um, Sistas. And I have the one that's called Trick or Treat. Now, if you guys don't like puns or anything like that, then this is the wrong video you should be watching because I like to copy stuff from the movie. So, I can't guarantee you that it won't get annoying. <laughs> I like to do it. I don't know. I just always been like that. Basically, the entire packaging has little eyes. It's black. It has this little like, uh, what is it like? Something coming out of the eyes. Like, what is that? Your third eye? I don't know. Okay, but it's cute. Same thing with the trick or treat. I'm gonna do little arm swatches for you guys. I tried to use the red one earlier with my eye look and I just didn't think it complimented so I took it off. I was like, okay, I'll just use it another day. You know, it just doesn't really go good with it personally. The red is really beautiful. It's like this metallic red. It's got a metallic sheen to it. When you put it on your waterline, because I used it on my waterline, it's so cool. It's just what I'm wearing right now, it doesn't go good with it. <laughs> it just looks weird. Now the purple is more of a matte. It still has that metallic sheen, but it's not as like, basically you can't really tell like versus the red one, right? It's not as prominent. That's what I want to say. So it is super pretty still. I really love this one, like a purple one, dude. I'm going to use that one. I know I'm going to get a good use out of that one. And then next we have the lashes, you guys. I got the Flirty Witch and then the Clever Witch. Which is, this is Mary's, Clever Witch is from Mary's um, little little collection. I'm wearing them, you guys. They do come like that. They come with it stuck on there. And it has a little tap where you can just like pull it out easily to apply them. The packaging is super cute. Each one of them has their own little, you know, this is Mary right here. And it's got these little beakers and some skulls, some eyes and stuff. Um, I'm not sure what that is. I think that's like a, a drink. No, it's a vacuum. It's a vacuum. I was like, what is that? That one's cute. I am wearing them. I don't even know if you guys could tell. They're like natural looking. They're not so much as dramaticness. You, you, you're looking for dramatic. You're going to have to go with Flirty Witch over here, which is Sarah's. Um, Sarah's Flirty Witch has Sarah, of course. It has the mop because she was flying at the mop towards the end. And then hers are so freaking pretty. Look how full and beautiful they are. I wanted to wear these. These are the ones I bought right off the bat. Like I, let me tell you guys when when it first launched, right? And I'm on, I'm on there like at 9:59, and I'm clicking and I'm clicking and nothing's showing up, and it's like <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Me and me and um one of my subscribers, Abby, was like messaging each other on Instagram and at the same time we're on there trying like what is it where is it where I don't see anything I run to Instagram and then they're like what 20 minutes later they're like we're not doing it anymore it got crashed the system crashed give us a second and then in the end they said they weren't doing it anymore till the next day I woke up the next day and did all like over again I was able to snag everything I wanted except for the glittery gel the amok one that I really wanted and then everything sold out so quickly like within a couple of minutes it was crazy. I ended up getting stuck in the virtual line for a good two minutes before I was able to like log, you know, go through the whole process, pay and everything. And then for um, the Ulta launch, I woke up at 4 a.m. to, <laughs> I'm crazy, the things I do for makeup. <laughs> and I was able to snag just the Clever Witch and um, I believe it was the sister one that I ordered from Ulta. 
And by the time I made up my mind, I actually tried to get the mock one there for you guys, but it didn't let me. It didn't let me. It had sold out like within the, the minute. First of all, Alta was having problems. You couldn't order off the site. You had to go through the app on my phone. So I didn't even have that crap on my phone. I had to download it and then try to get it. But these lashes are so flipping pretty, you guys. They're so full and flirty. Just perfect name for it, flirty lashes. I didn't wear them today because I didn't want them to go to waste because they were like by far my favorite ones. But I know when I wear these ones, it's going to be so awesome because it's just going to be like in your face, you know. The ones I have on, you can't really tell them apart from my own lashes. I mean, you could see that one set of my lashes in the back are like more curled up. They look pretty. They just look more natural. And I don't really like go for natural. I just go for dramatic, you know. And then I got all three of the lip kits, you guys. So... What I'm going to do, I'm going to start with Winifred. I'm going to go to like, and then Mary, and then Sarah at the end. Because Sarah's like the darker one, supposed to be the darker one. So I'm going to start with Winifred. And I'm not going to do what I normally do. I'm just going to, you're just going to see me apply it. And then I'm going to give you guys a close-up of each one of them. But I'm not going to talk about it until after. Because I kind of don't want to make the video any longer than I know it's already going to be. So let us start with Winifred. This one's called I Put a Spell on You. Next we have Mary. I smell children. <laughs> I love that name. So we're going to try that one on, you guys. And lastly, we have I Am Beautiful. What she does in the video in this in the movie it's so pretty so this one is supposed to be the darkest one you guys and i am going to explain a little bit of the lipstick right now now that i'm i'm this is the last one i love the packaging by the way the design of it all it has um disney from the movie disney hocus pocus it has the same little skulls it has the little web with the spiders on there the cauldron and these a little what looks like bubbles i'm not sure if that's bubbles they have a little crescent moon over here it's very pretty now the lipstick itself it's called sarah lux lipsticks and her lip liner is called my lucky rat tail because she goes into the place and she goes like this and then she finally finds that she found a little her her lucky rat's tail where she hid it last but it's called lucky rat tail i didn't notice that the lippy pencils had names to them the one from Mary is called Spinster Ladies because that's what they claim to be when the people came. The villagers came to kill them. And then this one was, come we fly. <laughs> Just about there. It's about to fly off. So, obviously people are complaining that these are all red tones. The same kind of red tones. I didn't look at it that way. I thought they were... I don't own any other ones from the Disney collection. They said the dupe that said that they're really close to other similar colors within the Disney princesses collection. I don't own any of those ones, but uh, let's try this on you guys. Now, something that I really didn't mention right now, you guys, every single one of these lipsticks has a little spider indentation inside of it. There's about one, two, three, four spiders. It's super cute. This is by far my favorite set. This is the one that I originally wanted. I decided to get all three because I'm a red lipstick lover. I don't really care. People are always like complaining about, well, it's just three variations of red. Well, if you've seen the movie, they're all wearing red lipstick. <laughs> you would know that if you knew what Hocus Pocus was. I mean, I'm not hating on anybody who hasn't seen the movie, but clearly this is based on Hocus Pocus. So you really shouldn't get mad if you saw that there was three variations of lipstick when all three sisters have three variations of lipstick. 
Sarah's my favorite. She's the darkest one, and I love dark reds. But I also loved, um, I loved Mary a lot. I know, actually, I preferred Winifred over Mary, and I'm going to tell you why. This one has, um, Winifred has a same thing as this one right here. Same thing as Sarah. The lipstick is more stiff. I want to say, not like in a bad drying way. I'm saying that the way it applied, it, it applied a lot more consistent versus um, Mary's lipstick is more moisturizing. It went on very, very like almost like a satiny, but like in a creamy sort of way, the way she went on. This one stained my, my, my lips. It stained my lips. Um, Winifred didn't do anything. Winifred applied on and off really easily without leaving any residual stain on my lips. And Mary left staining. So I don't know if it's because she's more of a vibrant blue red versus she is more like a fiery orangey red. Um, I don't know why, but this one feels like a drier um, lipstick formula, like a matte would. You know, have you ever tried a matte lipstick and it just goes on? I'm not saying it's, it's going to, you know, obviously it's not going to dry matte i'm saying the way a matte applies lipstick it tends to be on a drier end versus a satin lipstick which is creamier and just like rubs on like butter that's what mary feels like matte mary feels like a satin lipstick none of them dry down by the way just so you guys know i'm just saying that's the way they feel so let's get to the swatches you guys this is the palette um when you guys first get it the the actual packaging looks like this it has all three sisters there. Gather around, sisters. And then when you turn it to the other side, they have these little freaking, it's so cute. It's funny. I was laughing at it when I saw it. I was like, oh, it's got a cauldron. It's got a beaker. It's got an eye. And I said, what is that? You know, this random thing. And I was like, oh, that's a dead man's toe. <laughs> it looks so funny in person. I was like, I kept looking at it like it was a piece of turkey. Like a a drumstick because I saw the little bone sticking out I was like god dang what the heck is that and I'm looking and looking at it like that's a toe <laughs> so the names are in the back you guys um the only one that says that it's unsafe for the eye is a night of frolic dead man's toe and the brew potion which is the you know the glitter of course same thing on the back I love that they added this they put all the names in the back just in case if you decide not to keep the actual packaging. I keep all my packaging just in case if I ever decide to like sell it, you know, on Macari. This is a cartoonish version of them, of course. We all know if we've seen the movie that the movie is an actual person's. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the actresses would have had to give their permission to have, you know, their faces on something. That's probably why they went for just a cartoonish version of them. But these are the tones. The ones that are supposed to be not eye safe are Night of Frolic, um, Dead Man's Toe, and of course Brew Potion. I have Brew Potion on my eye, so it's very pretty. I swear, every time they have a glitter, you guys, I have to use them. It's just There's no getting around that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but we're going to start with Full Moon right here, and we're just going to go across till we get to the end. Full Moon is a matte with glitter, you guys. It is um, like this vanilla white color. Y'all already know I don't like those ones, but that's one swatch, and this is two. It's very pretty in person, though. I wouldn't doubt someone would make such a beautiful look using that color. Hello, Salem. My name is Winifred. What's up? This, this one is a light pink, ballet pink sort of matte. It's very pretty, though. And then you have Brew Potion, which is the glitter. I'm going to put that up here. It's super pretty, you guys. Look at just look at that swatch. I needed no adhesive, by the way, nothing, and she did not flake off at all. She is like, she's here to dominate, you guys. On toes is this camel brown matte. I use that as my transition shade. She is very pretty too. Coven is a matte with sequin glitter. She is like a dark brown. Ooh, she's like a rosewood brown. That is super pretty. I don't like, I'm not crazy about that sequin formula and I've said it already in another video. I wish ColourPop would just let it die. <laughs> just let it go. Let it go. <laughs> I don't know why they keep doing that, but in the next row we have, come little children, I'll take the away. <laughs> come little children, it is like this brown matte with glitter. 
just like they won't let it die you guys then you have this um i think it's like a metallic shimmer Ooh, this is a metallic shimmer pink one and it's called tis firm <laughs> that's like by far one of my favorite scenes in the in the movie when winifred <laughs> oh, she pushed her onto the pavement thinking it was like a black river of death or something and she's like ah! and then she's like no tis firm you know <laughs> that's like one of my favorite parts i'm not playing and then we have um uh, Zachary Binks and Zachary Binks is another shimmer. It looks like a metallic shimmer. Ooh, this is like a plummy purple. You guys, that's so so pretty. Zachary Binks. Yabos is this um I want to call it like an olivey green shimmer. Very, very pretty. If y'all don't know what Yabos is, I call it a bus is a black matte with glitter too. Ooh, a little bit of fallout. Looks like a very pretty color though. In the next row we have Wench. And this is my inner corner highlight. She's so pretty. She is like this. I want to call it like a frosted white vanilla shimmer. Super cute. Night of Frolic is a dark burgundy matte. She looks, I don't know, she kind of looks patchy in a way, right? Just right here in this corner. I'm pretty sure she'll give no problems. But just in case, because I did hear in some of the Facebook groups that I, I'm a part of on Facebook, they were saying that the ColourPop ones were showing to have some sort of patchiness with like at least two or three of the eyeshadows versus whoever bought it off of Ulta. Now this particular palette came from ColourPop and I was like, what what are you guys saying like you trying to tell me my shit don't work <laughs> who and she stains she stains look at my palm finger look look <laughs> mm -hmm. that's not eye safe that's why she they said put like 10 drops of tint in there and call it a day we want her to be red red dead man's toe dead man's toe Okay, this is a plummy matte, you guys. I know I'm going to drive everybody crazy with my stuff, but that's a very pretty color, you guys. Some people were experiencing patches with that, too, but I don't see any problems. I didn't get to use her today, so I wouldn't know for sure, you guys. I'm just saying, just in case. Bewitch is the dark olivey green I used today. She is a matte, too. It's very pretty, you guys. <laughs> Lastly, we have Goodbye, Cruel World. <laughs> It's a shimmer, and it is this dark brown, super dark espresso brown. Look at that. I love her so much, you guys. I used her today. These are all the tones. Look how awesome this palette is. Like, I am super in love with this palette. I'm going to be honest and say that I never planned on making this video only because I knew that they said they weren't planning on restocking, and I just didn't see a reason to make this video. I said, why? I'm going to get people's hopes up and they're going to like the products or something and then they can't buy it. And I don't want you guys to go to a v like a like a reseller who's going to sell you this palette that only costed about $22 and I'm going to sell it to you for 50 So that is it for the swatches, you guys. Um, don't forget that I always put out the English versions of my videos first and then my Spanish version ones because... I know that people always get confused. They think I only put it in English or they think I only put it in Spanish. And I'm like, no, there's each version. <laughs> They're on there. Don't look for it. If I don't up upload the Spanish one um, right away after the English, I usually do it a couple of hours after, if not the second day. Because my kids are like my first priority. And if they don't let me do things, then I just can't do them, you guys. I'm barely able to scruffles these things together now i will say the only reason why you're seeing this video right now is because i had a subscriber <laughs> abby if you're watching and then my best friend from fresno rita they just they were like are you doing it are you gonna i'm like why do you guys want me to do it <laughs> they can't buy it i don't care just do the video i was like okay jesus so other than that if you guys want to see how i created this look today just stay tuned Okay, you guys, so for my first color, I'm going to use this color that's called On Toast right here. It's a very um, light camel brown uh, matte. 
So that is what you guys are going to see me use as my transition shade. So for my next color, I'm going to use this one that's called Goodbye Cruel World. It is like this dark um, maroon brown shimmer. It's very pretty, but once I put it on, I didn't really, I didn't think it was like a whole lot of color. It was just like a brown on top. Well, it looked like a dark maroon brown on top of that brown that's already there, right? It didn't look bad. I'm just saying if you were looking for someone more, something more colorful, Definitely don't go for the combination because I did a very neutral kind of <laughs> look today. So that is what you guys are going to see me use. I'm just going to apply it with my finger. So for my next color that I used, well, it's not really a color. I used the glitter. <laughs> I used um, Brew Potion right here. And it's a very pretty uh, bronze gold like like glitter, very chunky. Well, it's not chunky. I would call it like semi-chunky, you guys. Don't get me wrong. I basically applied her right here in this area, trying not to do all the way in the corner because I'm going to add a darker brown one that's called Bewitched. So I just concentrated on this area, not so much right here. And I don't know. I love her. You guys know when there's a glitter in there, I can't really say no to the glitter, okay? Like, <laughs> Colourpop has a glitter, and I have to use that glitter. That's just me, though, because I'm like, oh, God, I love glitters. So that is what you guys are going to see me do. So for the next color I use, surprisingly enough, I thought it was a dark brown because when I was doing this eye, I did it in my room, and there's not really good lighting in my room. So the colors that I'm looking at, like I told you guys, I don't look at names. I don't look at really, like, I just pick whatever and I just slap it on my eye. I didn't know it's an olivey green. And I took it for a dark, the Bewitched one right here. With the poor lighting in my room, because not right now, of course, I have the, the actual studio lighting for my videos. It looked like a dark brown. It looked like a chocolate dark brown. And that's what the heck I thought it was until... I'm seriously looking at it right now, and I'm like, oh, you're an olivey green. You're like a dark olivey green. This freaking eye looks so beautiful now that I noticed that color, though. Because I was like, ooh, you look better now. <laughs> I thought it was all neutral look, and apparently it's not. It's, it's an olivey green. It's very pretty, you guys. It's a matte. Very pigmented. I had no problems, really. Um, I think I just a little bit of blending, just more blending in that area right there, but... Other than that, I didn't have any problems with pigmentation, nothing like that. So you guys are going to see me put her right here in this corner. I'm going to go a little bit across and right here, like halfway towards my bottom lid, okay? So that is what you guys are going to see me do. So for the, my next color, you guys, I went in with Yabos over here. And um, a Yabos is just like a lighter olive green shimmer. And I applied her basically on this bottom lid. I tried to apply her with a brush first. And then I found like the brush wasn't working as good for her as a formula for a shimmer. So I went back in with my finger and tried to just basically blend her as much as I could into that green. I love the way she looks on here. You can tell just a little tint of shimmery green mixed in with that dark green. So it looks really, really pretty. So that is what you guys are going to see me use. So for my inner corner highlight, you guys, I went in with the color Wench right here. And it is a very um, champagne vanilla shimmer. Very pretty, you guys. I tried to, I'm going to use a brush first. I tried to apply it with a brush. And it just wasn't working for me. And I was like, man, these shimmers, I don't know. Maybe shimmers in general for me and my taste, it just, I like the way it applies better for an inner corner highlight with my finger versus I try using the brush, you guys, especially today because I had nails on, fake nails. And it just didn't work. It wasn't showing intensity. Like, I like it. I was like, you know what? Forget this brush. I started putting my finger and it just applied a little bit better. So... I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try the brush and then I'm going to try my finger and that's what you guys are going to see me do.
So that's pretty much it for the eye look, you guys. I'm going to put on some mascara, and then I'm going to come back. I have an eyelash on from that collection, but I don't think I'm going to apply the eyelash till after I give you guys a close-up, and then I'll be back with the eyelash magically on, okay? <laughs> so let me go do that, and I'll be right back. So this is the finished eye look today, you guys. Hopefully you guys like it. I really like it, honestly. Um... <laughs> I like the way it turned out. It turns out really, really pretty. Um, let me back you guys out and give you guys, and I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts on this palette. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I decided not to put on my eyeliner or my um, lash just yet because I wanted to show you guys what the lashes look like. So the lashes come like this. I'm going to show you guys in the beginning of the video, but right now I don't have it on, so I'm able to show you guys exactly what the lash looks like. The lash is super thin. I'm hoping you guys can see it. It's so thin. It's not even a joke. I'm, I'm not saying it's not. It's a bad type. Um, I'm going to try to see if you guys can get a better look at what it looks like. I'm not saying it's a bad type, like bad quality or anything like that. It's not. It's just I feel like the, the lash itself is so natural and thin looking that it's hard to get a good grip on it when you're taking it out. And when I was trying to clean off the little, um, you know, that putty stuff that's still on there, like the semi-glue in there, I was having a hard time trying to take that stuff off so I can put new glue on and stick it on. And then on top of the fact that when I put it on, I was like, okay, well, you can't really see her. I mean, she looks like my own natural lashes. The only difference is that she's curled and my natural lashes are not curled because I didn't use a curler for them. So you can see her just above my own lashes. So she just looks like extra curled up. And my natural lashes are right here. And she's up here. And then also, like, I always struggle with applying them. This one had no problems applying it. Um, they're already pretty flexible the way they're supposed to be shaped. So I was just able to go like this. And it was done. And I was like, okay, that's surprisingly easy <laughs> considering I always mess up. Especially when it comes to applying them. I didn't have to cut the band at all. That They were that already basically shaped in the, my eye form. And I didn't really have to do that, which was surprising. Other than that, they are super comfortable. They're lightweight. I didn't have any problems like that. I picked Clever Witch and I also have Flirty Witch. I decided not to use my Flirty Witch because my Flirty Witch one looks like, um, you know, and I want to save that. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys, um... That is just, we'll get to the lashes in the beginning of the video. I love this palette. It's super cute. I almost feel bad because they don't, they, they keep saying over and over again on Instagram that they're not going to give another restock. And I'm hoping that they change their mind. I'm hoping that Disney gives them permission to do it because it is a beautiful palette. I love the colors that they chose in here. Some people were complaining about, oh, it looks like this. It looks like that. Honestly, I'm the type of person, I don't like to compare palettes. I don't, I don't like doing that. I, I, I realize that I have enough palettes to assume that I have pretty much the majority of these colors in my other palettes. But I look at a palette and I like to judge it for its entirety by itself and not try to compare it to, you know, garden variety. I really don't care at this point. I'm, I'm all in with ColourPop, okay? It doesn't make a difference if they're all the same color and just one is different. I'm not to the point where I have so much ColourPop, I'm pretty sure... Everything's a freaking dupe. <laughs> I'm not joking about that. I cannot wait to try the lipsticks, you guys. Like, oh my god. I have no lipstick on. I'm so crazy. I want to try them so bad. But I love the colors I chose today. That one, this one, that one. On toast. I think Hello Salem would still work for me as a transition shade. Definitely not Full Moon because she is the lightest shade. And everything else in here is doable. So... I'm going to let you guys go. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And until next time, stay warm, stay blessed, and stay magical. Bye, you guys.